Hey, on this channel, we talk about health, wellness, fitness, and spirituality. These are the keys of, for you to go from lead to go. We're going to start with the foundation, and that's working on your character. Let's get into the video. All right, guys, today on today's video, we're going to be talking about developing your character. And what does that mean? What does that even look like? We we'll start from the scratch. So growing up, we have our parents. We have our siblings and then we get into the school system and within the school system we have teachers we have principals we have friends these are all influences right these are all things that are adding or subtracting from who we are and who we are is this we are that's a circle we are a full full person we come into this life full but over time due to these negative influences we slowly start chipping away and say um okay we start chipping away we start chipping away who we are chipping away chipping away you know high school and middle school chipped away chipped away and then all that's left is just a little bit of us and we operate from this little bit of us and then we say this is who i am and this is what i can't do this is what i can do i'm not going to do nothing else and then we go through life with these perceived notions that you can't learn that you can't get better and that you can't be a better person now you can change at any time you can change at any time what I learned is that there is no limits. There's not, not only no limits, but there is no one in charge or over authority of when and who and how you can change. You're an adult now. 18, 19, 20 and up, you're a grown man. You're a grown woman. It's time to take responsibility and change. But change for the better. Change because we want to change. Change because we see the opportunity to change. Change because it's our life. And we're going to take control of it. So we choose to change. But because of all of these negative influences in our lives, but right, also TV, media, anything of that nature, we don't change. This is what right here. We have fear. <sighs> the fear of change. But if we don't change, things will never change. So. How do we build a foundation of a stronger, better character? You need this word right here. I'm going to be using a lot of words, but they all make sense. You need courage. The only way to change is with courage and to slowly remove these negative influences. I'm going to erase this. So slowly remove these negative influences in our lives. So that we can bring out more of ourselves. And this is the journey of self-improvement. This is the journey of self-development. It is not to be something that you're not. It's not to gain anything. It is simply to take away. Right? It's to remove what we are not. That's why this is lead to gold. Because the lead is your misperception of yourself. The lead is who you think you are. It's who society, these negative influences, have put on who you are. But guess what? That's not who you are. It's the I am. Put it right here. Let me erase this. It is the I am. You are whatever you say you are. It is your own conception of yourself. Never got to say. He said change the conception of yourself. And it's but the power of awareness. Check that out. But the I am, whatever you say at the I am becomes who you are. I am great. I am powerful. I am strong. I am abundant. So these are affirmations. But these affirmations will translate into a reality of who you are. I am a successful entrepreneur. I am a successful athlete. And I am abundantly. I am stable. These are states of consciousness. I'm healthy. Health is a state of mind. 
Because not only what you eat, but how you live your life is where you are in life. Bob called it the paradigm. So I'll put the paradigm right here. And the paradigm, the paradigm is your habitual way of being. It is all of these influences with you at the center. Now, if you go through in, in your days and your moment to moment life and you're not thinking, you're not planning, you're not making um, a vision of the future or assessing your own inherent abilities and say, well, who am I? Who do I want to be? What do I want to do? What do I want to have? If you're not asking these types of questions, then you're kind of living on autopilot. Now get this, 90%, put it right here, 90% of people are living on autopilot. You have to be that top 10% or even the top 5% in some, some instances who thinks outside the box, who plans for the future, and who has some idea of who they are. Again, you are the infinite I am. I am that I am, which is the name of God. You are the creator of the generator. You are the operator, and you are the destroyer of misconceptions, of lies, and of misalignment. Right? So as we go through life and we remove these influences, we're going to start to peel back the truth of who we are which is the I am, and tapping into your own consciousness, Neville Goddard said, I'm leave that there, Neville Goddard said, you go there yourself. So it is not the person to my left or to my right that have to go. I go there myself and I tell no one, right? We, we like to express our desires and we like to express our goals far too much. So next time you have a desire or a goal, Keep it within yourself. Do the work. Think and grow rich. He said, Napoleon Hill said, tell the war what you're going to do. But first, show them. You can stream into the war and I'm going to start the business. I'm going to go out. I'm going to get fit. I'm going to lose 10 pounds. I'm going to do it. But where's the work? Where is the tracking? Where is the work? It's one month, two months, three months. I thought you said you was going to. See? But it's the paradigm. So I recommend you check out Bob's book, Change Your Paradigm, Change Your Life. We're going to be talking about different books and whatnot to increase your own awareness. It's the knowledge. It's the study. You don't get to know the I am. You don't get to know the godness, the self-creative operations unless you study. If you don't study, you're going to be stuck in survival mode. And when you're in survival mode, you're in fear. And when you're in fear, there can be no courage. If there is no courage, there will be no change. We can sugarcoat, we can baby step, and we can talk around the bush of what needs to be done all day long. But I'm telling you, what needs to be done is to work. Losing weight, you have to put in the repetitions. Getting better at running, you have to put in the miles. Getting better at your health, you have to cleanse. You must eat healthier foods whole food plant-based, right? If I want to work on a piano, guess what I have to do? I have to work on the piano. So whether it's a hobby, an interest, or a profession, you have to put in the work. And you have to have courage. Tighten up your belt and get it done. Don't be like the soft 90%. Now, I say that with love because I'm not perfect. And I ha we all have our moments. I have my moments where... Maybe I don't have enough courage. Maybe I don't have the confidence. Maybe I don't believe in myself. But guess what? You still got to get up. You still got to put in the work because it's your dream. It's your dream. So why, we, why should we change? Because we can. We can change any moment, any time we want. But we don't have to attack that paradigm, which you're going to notice it. It's the resistance. When you start making changes. Now, I recommend, and I give you guys one tip. You see, you one tip how to change, how to build that willpower to change. You have to have the desire first. It is the desire. Right? 
right there. It is a desire to change. I hope I spelled that right. I just spelled that right. <laughs> it is the desire to change. The desire will give you the strength. So we can talk about how desires are bad and desires are lead you to chasing. But in reality, if you read Thinking Grow Rich with Desire, all things from the idea, thought, word to the manifestation starts with a desire. And the stronger the desire, the stronger the energy to move forward. So you need a high desire, and then you need a high level of will. And the will is the center energy of your solar plexus, right? It's, it's the center, it's in your belly, it's the fire. You're going to need the fire. So strengthen your core. I'm going to have some videos on the core workouts. Work on your core to develop your willpower. And through developing your willpower and having a high desire to say, I want that. That is what I should be. Claim it. Claim the I am and have the courage to make it happen. Now, there will be trial and error, but how else are you going to get to the other side? How else are you going to go from lead to gold? There's no other way, guys. You must do the work. So make the change, guys. Make the change. And I'm going to repeat repeating that over and over because you have to have the intention, the desire to change. Nobody can do it for you. He said, let no man, right? Let no man do the work that only my hands are built for. It's your dream. So go out there, guys, make your dreams happen and go from lead to gold, right? We got health, we got wellness, we have spirituality, and we have fitness. That's the only way I know. Let's get it, guys. I appreciate you guys. Like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget, I am that I am. See you on the next video.